Township at the Oak Tree Elementary School, one of the best lead schools that we have found, and we're really happy to be able to put this on Green Planet Directory. Here's our 30-second guide is Kevin, who just knows Hi, this school you? inside and out. Kevin, tell us all about your school. It's amazing from the gray water to what you're doing. Please. Okay, well, here we have uh, three, um, actually it's a large tank underneath the ground that holds 52 gallons of rainwater. Okay. 52,000 gallons. And when it rains, it goes into the tank and it gets pumped back into the school. Okay, can we And it actually it? flushes the toilet. We use it to flush the toilet. It comes through the tank, it gets through a filtration system which has sand in here and actually a little bit of chlorine goes into it. Just enough to get the bacteria out of it. Okay. okay. Then we have over here three pumps that pump the water through the school to flush the toilet. Wonderful. Now, if you would run out of rain, if you had a drought, what would happen? Uh, we would use city water. We okay. have a backup plan where you can use city water. Where city water will, will uh, go through the school. Amazing. Kevin, show us more. Kevin, we're back at your great display here, and I see that there's solar panels on it. Can you tell us what that does? Yes, all these solar panels are actually above the gym. All these solar panels above the gym floor, I mean gym roof. And uh, what they do is they give power back to the electric company. Okay, we don't store it here, but we give it back. Better. And we're here in this awesome entrance hall, and there's very few lights on. Tell me about these terrific ceiling panels. Well, it's, it's almost like setting like a mall because you can actually get, a, you get 90 percent of the sun comes into the room here. And uh, you know, that saves a lot on lighting, actually, and it lights the room up real well. These are like a specially designed um, glass that they've used for the school. And how does this work even on a oh, cloudy day? On a cloudy day, it's, it's still not as bad as you'd think it would be, but the lights will make up for it, actually. Let's okay. go in the media center and see that. And with these are, the lights are actually off in here right now. And you can see how well lit the room still is. Now, you say media center, but this is, this is what a library. we used to know is yes, a library. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just so it's new. nice and bright. Yes. Now, you can see on the other side, the lights are totally off, and the lights are not on on this side either. So. Normally we have the lights on in school, right. you know. And I had just heard from one of the gentlemen that were on the major committee of this that children are actually coming back to school with a better attendance because it's healthier lighting the, and, and the, the natural atmosphere. lighting, yes. The yes, atmosphere. I, I heard the same thing. When you were also describing the paint. Yes. You were telling us. Oh, yes. The paint is a green paint they use for the building. Also the materials they use for the building is, is all green. Uh, the lumber, you know. As far as everything they've used is all green safe, they consider it safe. And Monroe Township School is a silver school, correct? That's right, they were awarded silver uh, award certificate. Right, from the LEED. From right, LEED from program. LEEDS, the LEEDS company, yes. Which is awesome. They give out certificates. Um, obviously, you're teaching your kids early, too, about... To recycle, yeah. We had to, actually, we had to put a garbage only on there because sometimes they get a little confused, the younger ones okay. that we have here. We have kindergartens here, too, so mm -hmm. we're pre-K all the way to sixth grade. So there's a, there's a. But that's the ages we need to teach right now. Oh, this is hers? This is her door. And if you were to go inside, she's got a, two crushers in there and all the kids crush cans. Teacher of the year. Mrs. Hill is obviously a progressive teacher. They even have a can crusher in their classroom. See what everybody can do with things like this? Kevin, I'm not so sure even how to use this. Here's the old, here you go. Yep. Look at how you crush awesome. it and throw it in. Crush it on top. And, and here you got to see something really cool. Here. See this here? Let me just move this out of the way. A bit. See what she's got set up here? Oh, a number of cans. These collected. are the, clan, the cans that she's collected. Good for her. And they're char they're getting two cents a piece for it? I don't know the whole thing. Well, I see her pennies that, behind but, it. So, you know. what an awesome thing. What a yeah. great teacher. Kevin, I want this lawn. This is amazing. There is yep. absolutely not a single weed on it. Tell yep. me why. It's artificial turf. Artificial turf. Yep. They, uh, they went with the artificial turf because they figured it would be low maintenance, which it is. And uh, every now and then you get a couple leaves or a couple pieces of garbage, but we pick it up and we're on our way. Low Show maintenance. me what it's made out of before oh, you were... Okay. This here, this material here is actually ground up tire. Let me see if you can see some of that. Okay. Okay, that's ground up tire, which they actually freeze dried. 
and they freeze dried it because what they wanted to do is make sure that the black doesn't come off on your hands. As you can see, it doesn't. How long is this good for? Well, they're saying, you know, they, they have a rating of about 20, 25 years, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, this has already gone through is, winter? Oh, yeah, a couple winters already. We're, and we're on our third year here now, so. What do you find how it does with drainage and snow? Well, drainage, rain, it's fine. Snow actually melts quicker on this because it holds heat, actually. Um, in the winter time, it'll hold some heat. It's almost like a blanket. Um, it'll actually melt the snow quicker than you can move it off the sidewalk. It's amazing. When they install this, did they have to do any ground prep work to um, help the rocks yes, do they, things? they actually put some sand down. They put, like, a black uh, a piece of... Uh, material over it. For weed control yeah. or yeah. that type of thing? Yeah. Okay. Kevin, thank you. Your school no is amazing thank and you. so are you. <laughs>